Welcome to ACTV Newsmakers, on location today at the Technology Center of DuPage. This is their January open house event where high school students and their families are coming here to the Technology Center of DuPage, located right here in Addison, to find out what TCD is all about, checking out their more than 20 program areas that are available to high school juniors and seniors to get them career ready through various technical and career programs that are located right here within the heart of DuPage County, right in Addison's Industrial District. Coming up, we'll be speaking with Jason Huavix, the principal at Technology Center of DuPage, to give you an idea about what typically happens during the open house event and how, if you did not make the open house event, how you could reach out to get more information about Technology Center of DuPage right here in Addison. We are speaking with Jason Huavix, the principal at Technology Center of DuPage. Jason, you have a big event going on this evening. Could you tell our viewers what this uh, <laughs> night and this big event is all about? Yes, this is our uh, January, this is our community open house where it's used more for um, open house for the community so that you can come see our program areas. Uh, all the homeschools that we work with encourage our students and their parents to come on a night like tonight so that they can take a look at our, our different program areas and see what actually happens in there. Uh, we have our teachers here, we have um, students here from each of the program areas, so a lot of different questions can be answered by a number of different people. Uh, behind me in our Gate Center area, we also have a number of vent vendors in here, which would be um, from a number of different colleges and different places so that students and parents can see where TCD fits on their career pathway that they may be uh, beginning here or back at their home schools. For those who do not know, can you give us a quick 30 second elevator on what Technology, of, Technology Center of DuPage is all about? Okay. So Technology Center DuPage is the um, area career center for uh, the DuPage area. So we work with 12 districts, uh, 24 high schools, and then we have some from even outside of our region that send students here to um, strictly for the juniors and seniors at their school to take career-oriented programs that they may not have at their school uh, that are more technical in nature, like our EMT program, our uh, professional cooking, baking, and services program, our cosmetology program, and some of our medical ones. Okay. Uh, so this time of year, having this event in January, are you trying to capture uh, prospective students then for the forthcoming school year? Is there a little strategy as yes. to the time so, for this? Yes. So the this event is uh, timed during the registration period at the high school so that kids can come out uh, after they may have found out about the programs here when they're registering for their junior or senior year classes uh, so that they can get to look at our programs and see what we have to offer. Uh, what are some of the typical questions that your staff will be fielding this evening, not just from students but from parents as well? Okay, the typical questions that uh, our staff fields at this event is um, how does this work with um, the high school? What is it, the time period that the students are here for? Uh, and ultimately, um, what is the experience like for students here? Um, and then there may be parents who have children who have uh, some special needs of some type. And so uh, there's a lot of questions that can come our way as far as what is the su success rate for students who have special needs, which is very high. Um, and, and also we have all of our programs, or a number of our programs are tied with dual credit with College of DuPage, Joliet Junior College, or a couple other partners as well. Uh, so parents may and students may be asking questions about, you know, what are the college credits that they can get? And then there's also certifications that all of our programs have as well uh, that are of some value within the labor market. So a lot of those questions and, and then how it fits within the student's high school experience and then obviously with the vendor area that we have, um, how does it work with the progression through their post-secondary education and career uh, pathway. So. so you probably get a lot of students going, but I'm in band and I'm in track and I uh, do other things during the school. I've got 18 classes I take every day. So it's got a, it's some of the typical questions it, you it, get. Yeah, so a, a lot of the questions is how does this fit within the schedule? So the student, the biggest challenge uh, a number of our prospective students have is m making it fit within their schedule. Um, all of our community high schools have uh, six to eight periods within their schedule and making a gap that can fill three to four class periods for that student can be a challenge. So um, ultimately we also like getting students who may be freshmen and sophomores so that they can start planning for their junior and senior year as well because they may have to uh, front end load a number of classes or take some summer school classes to make the 
openings available within their schedules so that they can uh, register for our classes and take them here. What is the number one uh, most requested program, let's say, when people come in the door? I, I know this is going to be difficult because they're all great. I understand that. What is the number one area people like to see the most? Uh, so we've got two areas that are very popular. One, because it's food. So our, our, pro, our professional cooking and baking and services area um, gets a lot of foot traffic because they've got a lot of smell goods in the air and, and um, have snacks for people to come in and, and have. Uh, and then another one that is very popular is our cosmetology area. It has just been remodeled uh, with it about a year and a half ago. Uh, so everything is sparkly and new in here outside of being our, our program that has the most students registered for it on an annual basis. Uh, and then of course, uh, when people get into the classroom, the, the program areas, um, they are dazzled by the amount of equipment that we have in each one of the areas. Behind me, you can see our um, fire science and EMT program, we actually have fire trucks, we actually have uh, the ambulance, we actually have that professional level of equipment. Our automotive technology lab has 20 plus lifts in it and we have about 35 to 40 cars that our students work on on a daily basis uh, for any number of different things and every one of our labs has something like that within it. So. Um, there, there's plenty of things for people to see and, it, the, and also experience the difference between what our programs have to offer and, and what the um, classes that are offered back at the home school that may be related uh, and they can see the difference that way. And then finally, Jason, if a family, uh, the students or parents could not attend the January open house, mm -hmm. what is the best way to connect with Technology Center DuPage? The best way to connect with Technology Center DuPage is through our website. Um, it's tcdupage.org, uh, and we have a number of different things. So if they click on our program areas, they can get uh, virtual tours or, or commercials for them. Um, we have uh, staff members. Uh, we have a career counseling staff member named Michelle McClinsky, who if you wanted to set up tours or anything like that or have questions related to our programs, um, she would be a point of contact for that as well as any of the administrators at the school. So you've got me being the principal, uh, Ryan West, who's our assistant principal, or Alicia Cook, who's our dean of students, any of us would be happy to um, answer any questions that you may have, and then possibly if there's a, a need to set up a uh, tour, uh, then we would coordinate that through uh, Michelle McClinsky and our career counselor. Jason Glavix, principal of Technology Center DuPage, thank you for talking with us today. Thank you. Thank you. From Technology Center of DuPage, I'm Don Weiss. Thank you for joining us on ACTV Newsmakers.